Hello, this video will show you how to play GameCube games on your Wii U. In order to do this, you'll need the following items. You'll need a Wii U with the Homebrew channel installed. There's a link on how to do that in the description. You'll also need a Wii that is capable of playing GameCube games and also has the Homebrew channel installed. And yet again, there is a link on how to do that in the description. You'll need a GameCube game, a Wii Remote, and a Classic Controller or Wii U Pro Controller. In this video, I use a Classic Controller because it's easier to use and you have to set up the Pro Controller. If there's enough demand, I might make a Pro Controller video, but I have not tried it as of yet. You also need an SD card or USB flash drive that has at least 2 gigs of free space. GameCube games are around 1.5 gigabytes of space, so that's just how much you need for the GameCube game. In this video, I am using a 16 gigabyte micro SD card with adapter, so you can use a micro SD card with adapter. I get a lot of comments on that. Um, can you do it? Yes, you can. There's no difference between them. If you want to use a USB stick, I don't know if you can actually run apps off the Homebrew channel on that. I, yet again, I've never tried that but you can rip the games to it. If you don't have a big enough SD card to rip the games to, you can plug a USB device. It can be a flash drive or probably hard drive. You will also need a computer that is capable of opening zip files and reading and writing files from your SD card or USB drive. What you need to do is download the CleanRip and Devolution zip files from the links in the description. Then you extract them. In the zip files, there should be an apps folder, and in the cleanrip one, there's also a cleanrip-gc.dull. So what you need to do is put them into one apps folder. So you have an apps folder that has both the devolution and the cleanrip folder in it, and copy that apps folder onto your SD card. And then you copy the cleanrip-gc.dull file also onto your SD card. Insert the SD card into your Wii and open up the Homebrew channel. When the Homebrew channel opens up, open up Clean Rip. In CleanRip, use your Wii Remote to navigate. When it asks you the device type, select the storage device that you want to use. If it is your first time using CleanRip, you want to select Yes when it asks you to download the re-dump dat files. The system will freeze while the files are downloading. If you haven't already, insert the game you gave into the Wii when it asks you to and press A to let it rip the game. When it is done ripping the game, you're going to want to hit B to exit clean rip and then insert the SD card into your computer. Okay, so you're going to rename the ISO to whatever the game name is. I'm just, it gives you a text file with the game name in it. And yeah, I'm just renaming it. It's Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets because that's the only GameCube game I currently have. And then you're going to put it in a folder called Games. If you don't put it in the games folder, I don't think Devolution can find it. And just renaming it is just so you know what it is and not. GHSE69. And then you're just going to delete the extra files you don't need. So you don't have extra files that you don't need. And go put the SD card back into your Wii. Eject the GameCube game from your Wii and open up Devolution. Devolution has your classic controller's layout mimic a GameCube controller's layout. Because of this, all of the face buttons are rotated one clockwise. This makes the X button act as the Y button, the A button act as the X button, the B button act as the A button, and the Y button act as the B button. You'll need to know this when playing games and navigating the menus in Devolution. Talking in the terms of what the actual controller has, you're going to want to hit X if you're using an SD card, or A if you're using a USB. Then you just go over and select your ISO and hit B to choose it. It'll take a while, and then you'll have a black screen for a while. While this is happening, your Wii Remote is going to, the light's going to blink a bit. 
So what you want to do is go put the disc of the game you're trying to play into your Wii. And once you do that, you should hit the home button on the Wii remote and classic controller. I, 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 you hit it on the Wii remote and it should eventually load. And if it's still blinking when the game loads, just hit the home button on your classic controller and you will be able to play the game. Now go over to your Wii and sync the Wii remote you were just using on your Wii to your Wii U. It has to be the same Wii remote because Devolution saves verification files to your Wii remote's internal memory. To sync it, just hit the red sync button on your Wii U and then hit the red sync button that is under the Wii remote's battery cover. Once you do this, go to the Wii mode on your Wii U. Once in Wii mode, insert the same SD card and or flash drive that you were just using on your Wii. It has to be the same SD card and flash drive, otherwise it won't work. Once you do this, go to the Homebrew channel. Once the Homebrew channel is loaded, open up Devolution. When that loads, just do the same as you did before. Choose the ISO image that you just ran on the Wii. When you do this, the Wii remotes will get disconnected. So just hit a button on it so it gets reconnected to your Wii U. And then just hit the home button on your classic controller that should be plugged into the Wii remote. And you should be able to play the game like I am. I'm just speeding up the menus and cutscenes to skip to the gameplay, which is what you want to see. Um, it runs fine. It looks better. You can record it better because it's HDMI, not component or composite. But yeah, you just gotta get used to controls. And it saves to memory card files, which I guess are on the SD card. So I assume you can move this to the other Wii. Or other Wii's that use the same Wii remote. You have to use the same Wii remote. But, thanks for watching. If you like this, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And this is Dantendo Inc. signing off. See you next time.